What is going on guys? So we are just about to install our uh, pedal assembly back into the car. But before we do that, I did get some uh, new clutch line uh, from the master to the brake reservoir right here. And I do need to cut him to length. So we're going to do that real quick. So if you guys got new clutch line, this is basically what we're going to do. So we got an entire new roll and it's, it's way too long, honestly. So this guy is almost 11 inches. About ten and a half inches. So I'm gonna cut around eleven inches just to give myself a little bit more room with the clutch line to get it in. Alright, so we have our line cut. We have our pedal assembly all together. And this guy is gonna go right on the end of that dude. Alright, so I got my new clutch line on, I got my new master on, my new pedal bushings on for the brake pedal, so we're all ready to get this into the car. Now, if you guys have any questions about how all of this goes together, I have a complete video on assembling the pedal assembly itself. So basically, once this is all together, we're going to go ahead and put all this in the car. Tools we will be using. 3 8 driver, a long extension. We will be using that to get the pedal housing bolts on, if you remember that. The teardown video, we did use that. Give it a little bit more room to work. Move our wrench around. Flathead screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. So that's going to help us put the uh, trim pieces back on. A 13 millimeter socket. Another 13 down there. That one is for my quarter inch wrench. So having smaller tools is going to help us work a little bit better in that space. A 10 millimeter socket. So I have a 3 8 drive and a quarter inch drive down there. I sort of use a combination of both along with that little extension to get the upper pedal housing bolt in and aluminum trim piece that goes underneath the main trim piece. So you could do this whole thing with the 3 8 drive tools. Did that on the first manual swap, but using quarter inch tools gave you a little bit extra room to work and made it a little bit easier. Some wire cutters. So we're going to be chopping the end of the brake reservoir off to feed our main clutch line in that runs from the master cylinder all the way up to that brake reservoir. There's a little plastic nipple we do need to cut off and I did use those wire cutters for it. In addition to that, I did use some long needle nose pliers to sort of feed the hose up. I'll show you guys that later. So you might need those, you might not. It really depends. On the first swap that I did, the clutch line went straight up and I didn't need to fish it out at all. In this case, it went down instead of up and I did need those to fish it out. I also used a set of needle nose pliers to put that spring back in for the brake. You guys remember the teardown video? Remember that spring? We got to put that guy back in, and that's going to be fun. And besides that, everything else is done by hand. So pushing clips in, pressing the whole pedal assembly to get it up there, fiddling with it, all that's done by hand. So this is just about all the tools we will need. All right, so before we actually put this in the car, we are going to have to pop this guy off of here, assuming you got a new master. Okay, so now there is a little clip inside of here, and we do need to pop that little clip out. So I do have a flathead, we're just going to take that guy out. Before we get into actually putting it in the car, I have a feeling the footage is going to be a little bit messy and kind of hard to understand. I did clean up some of that wiring mess so it's a lot more tucked up and you don't have to worry about all those wires hanging in the way like the uh, pedal removal video. But basically we're going to do the same thing to get it out just to put it back in. Basically reverse order of taking it out. Uh, the only difference is, is that we have the clutch side here. On our first approach, when we go to put this in, the hole we cut out in the firewall uh, for the two clutch lines, the upper one and the lower one, this one is going to go through the hole in the upper one. So we're going to feed that through the hole as we're pushing it in just to get it up out and we'll pull it through the uh, front corner of the car in the engine bay. And also that back clutch line that we ran through, that guy is going to plug in right there. So we're going to get this line through, we're going to get this line in, we're going to push it in, it should clip in. And then we're going to go after it with this little clip, get that guy in, and then the clutch line will be in here basically pretty solidly. And uh, after we get the rest of the pedal assembly on, we'll get this guy up and plug him into the, uh, the master cylinder on the brake booster. So as for the reverse installation, it's basically the same as taking it out. Once those clutch lines are done, then we can start getting the housing up. Our four bolts on here first, and we'll get the upper bolt. And then we'll get that clip back in here, we'll get the spring attached to it, and then we'll get that plugged in. And then that'll basically be it, and then we'll just put the rest of the trim back on. So, just wanted to sort of go over the plan of attack for you guys. I'm going to show you all of that in the car, and it's going to be a little bit, probably not super straightforward in the video because of the darkness of where we are and the angles at which I have to shoot it at. So, forewarning, it might not be as clean as you hope it would. So, I'm just letting you guys know I will try and do the best that I can, but basically just review the plan of attack of how we're going to go about this before you start putting the assembly back in. Knowledge is going to be key here. If you know what you have to do, it's going to make it a lot easier to get it done. 
All right, so basically here we have the clutch line that we fed through. Now, all of these videos, if you're watching them through the playlist section on the manual swap playlist, they are in chronological order. So you have to do them basically one by one. So at this point, we do have our clutch line fed through, all of that good stuff. You can't really install the pedals unless you have this guy sitting here through because it's going to be, you can, it's just going to be a really big pain to get this guy on. So I recommend running this line first and then putting the pedal assembly on. Now, the Directly above that right here that is our hole for that uh, softer clutch line that I just measured out so I'm gonna be feeding that line up through this hole as we put the pedal assembly on then we're gonna get this guy clipped in and from there then we're gonna move it up and then start putting it on the uh, brake fork here getting the housing on and then the last things we'll do is uh, put the spring on put the clip on put our brake switch on last so, so that's basically the plan of attack for getting these guys on let's do it all right so we got our clutch pedal assembly. I'm now feeding this line through the hole and we're going to sort of walk him up and in. Alright, so he is up there. Alright, so I'm going to get the hole where the brake fork goes through. Get the brake fork through that big hole and then from here, I'm going to take that line, pop it in. Okay, so we've got our brake fork almost through that hole. I don't know if you guys heard that click, but that is that thing basically sitting in position. So now I'm going to take my little clip. Alright, so that clip is in. Now that hard line, that hard line is on there. So that thing's not going to come off unless we pull that clip out, which we're not going to. So now, basically we got to just like get this guy up on top of there on the clutch fork onto the four studs that it came off of and then start bolting those down. And then once that's on, we can get this upper one on. So again, you're gonna have to kind of wrestle this thing in, push it back, and then get it up. All right, so as we get close to getting the pedal assembly completely on, there is one thing we do need to take care of before we actually start bolting the pedal assembly down. That soft clutch line that does run all the way up to here, we're gonna have to sort of fish him out from under there and get him up here so we can get the pedal assembly on easier. Now here we have the uh, old one out of the pedal assembly, but as you're working the pedal assembly up and in, the clutch line is going to be basically sticking through here. Make sure this guy is going through the hole straight. So you want to make sure that this angle guy is pointing towards the hole and not like that and not bent or kinked or even like, even if it is straight, it could be trying to do something like that. Basically you want that line to just be clean straight up through the firewall. On good occasions, he'll go straight up by the brake boost and you'll be able to just see him and grab him. But on some occasions, like mine, he's actually down there and I can see him, but I can't grab him. So we're gonna pop the fuse box cover off relay box cover off. I'm gonna pop these guys out so I have a little more room to get back here. So he's down around here somewhere. I tried to get him on camera but I can't really catch it. It's too small of an area down there. I've got some longer like needle nose kind of pliers. I'm gonna try and grab him down there and see if I can pull him up through here. There we go. All right, so get him out of here. Make sure that he is straight in the pedal assembly, that he doesn't have any twists or bends in the line. Uh, it's a little bit of a trick to get this thing out. One thing to note though, the pedal assembly gets bolted into this, right? But this also gets bolted to the pedal assembly. So this, the whole brake booster without the pedal assembly on, is a little bit loose. So just something to keep in mind, you do have a little bit of room to play with that if you can move it. Should make getting this guy up a little bit easier. So because we have to cut the little nipple here to get this guy on, I'm gonna leave all of this just like it is and we'll put it all away when we got the pedal assembly on. Okay, so now that we've got the clutch lines basically all the way on and through, it's just a matter of getting the pedal assembly housing back on and bolted in place. All right, so after a lot of wiggling, a lot of maneuvering, especially on the underside up here where these wires are, they've managed to get it back on. So basically, you're just gonna have to try a bunch of things, just mess with it, wiggle with it. There's really no one good way to get the whole thing on. You just sort of gotta wrestle it and move the wires around, but be careful with them. Don't pull on them or rip them or push them too hard. You might break something. So just be cautious, but sort of be a little bit aggressive with it. Take your time, be patient, and it'll get on there eventually. All right, so that is the top bolt. Next to that, we have the four bolts for this guy. Get those tightened down, and then that will be it. So just something to note strategy wise, don't tighten any of the bolts down until you have all of them on. 
So I'm going to get all five bolts on before I tighten any of them down just so it sort of settles in where it needs to be and you don't crank one in and then mess with the housing and jack it to one side. Alright so now I've got all of the housing bolts on and I'm basically just going to go down one by one and just get them all tight. I'm not going to tighten them all the way, just get them snug. So that one's snug, bottom four are all snug. I'm going to get the top one nice and tight, there it is. Now we're going to get all four of the housing bolts tight. Alright, so that's all of them. The housing's in. Alright, so once that pedal housing is on, we need to take this guy and we need to stick him through the brake fork and through the brake pedal. Now once we get him on, there's a clip that goes in here and that'll lock that guy into place. So this part is going to orient onto the brake switch and it'll be basically held in place once you clip it in. From there we got to take this spring, hook it, and then drag it up to the top of the pedal assembly on the same spot that we took it off before. And I have some needle nose pliers that'll get those guys on there. So I've got my clip. I'm gonna kind of orient him. There we go. Alright now the clip. There we go. Let me take that. All right, so the last thing to connect is our brake switch. So that guy to clip back in. And that is it, the brake pedal assembly is on. Our spring connects to right there if you guys miss that. So it runs from the back of that clip that we had. Get that connected, the brake switch on, and then that will be it for the pedal assembly. All right, so next on the list, we have to reinstall this air duct. And this guy has a clip on the top and on the bottom. That goes on and he will clip right into place. Now from here this giant metal plate goes on. Keep in mind that the OBD port does go on right here. I'm gonna thread him back into place using a flathead screwdriver. And this guy will lift into his spot. All right, so now from here our uh, trim piece is gonna go back in. So we're gonna wanna sort of walk that guy in a little bit. Before we start putting them in, we're going to want to reconnect uh, our lights and all the other things that we disconnected. I found my little speaker guy. He's supposed to hang out down there. He wasn't in originally when I pulled this off, so I found him, so I'm going to put him back in. Besides that, we've got this light here that needs to come back in. All right, and aside from those, we're just going to sort of gently walk it back up into its place. Try not to catch any wires and just sort of walk him in slowly and guide him in. It should go up nicely. Keep in mind there are two little clips right here, one right here, one right here, that do need to sort of clip into place up on the side. So you're going to want to have it forward, get those in, and then push it back into place. And then we have our two screws, one here, and the other one is right over here. The last step to finishing the pedal assembly is to get this guy on. So the hose that we ran up through the firewall has to connect down to that guy to feed our clutch fluid through. So we're going to connect him. Basically, you don't have to change brake masters for uh, manual swaps. It already has this cut out. As you can tell, it just has the end blocked off. So I'm going to feed this line through and sort of get it under. Now, I have a set of dikes right here, so we're literally gonna cut the end off of that and then shove this line up on top of that in there, then that will be it. We will be bleeding the clutch in a separate video. Okay, so there is brake fluid up inside of here, so some of it might spill out as we do this. I'm gonna try and cut maybe midway down, and as soon as I cut it, I'm gonna get on it with the clutch. One. We go so now we did get a little bit spill there's a little bit on there so we're gonna spill basically unless you pull all of the fluid out of the reservoir so as far as this guy being on there he just sort of sits on there if you want to and feel better about it you can put a c-clamp on here or some sort of screw clamp to hold them on tight of all three manual swaps I've had I've just stuck them on here because he doesn't really have any pressure in this line it really isn't gonna matter that much if he's just sort of hanging out they don't really pop off so I'm just gonna leave mine chilling here for now I'm not gonna put a clamp on it and then basically once that's done we can put all of this stuff here back together there we go all right that is it our pedal assembly and clutch lines are complete thank you guys so much for watching keep it fresh and i will see you guys later